Understanding Heat Maps, a guide for English language learners. Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating term in the English language, heat map. Whether you're a language enthusiast, a student, or just curious about English phrases, this video will help you understand what a heat map is, where it's used, and how it's relevant in various fields. So, let's dive in and demystify this interesting term together. A heat map is a visual representation of data. It's a type of data visualization tool that uses colors to show different values or intensities. Imagine a map or a chart where different colors indicate different levels of something, like temperature or activity. In heat maps, Warm colors like red and orange often represent higher values, while cooler colors like blue signify lower values. This makes it easy to understand complex data at a glance. The term, heat map, comes from the way it visually represents data. It resembles a thermal image, where warmer areas are highlighted in warmer colors. This analogy makes it easier to understand and remember. Heat maps are not necessarily about actual temperature. It's more about using colors to represent different levels or intensities of any kind of data. Heat maps are incredibly versatile and are used in various fields. 1. In web design, to show where users click the most on a web page. 2. In geography to represent population density or climate changes. 3. In business, for understanding consumer behavior or sales patterns. 4. In science and health, to visualize data in research or to show areas affected by diseases. By using heat maps, professionals in these fields can make informed decisions based on the visual representation of data. Creating a heat map involves a few steps. 1. Collect data. Gather the data you want to visualize. 2. Choose a tool. Use software or online tools designed for creating heat maps. 3. Assign colors. Decide which colors will represent different data values. 4. Interpret the map. Learn to read and understand what the map is showing. Remember, the goal of a heat map is to make complex data easily understandable through visual means. And that's a wrap on heat maps. I hope this video has shed light on what heat maps are, how they're used, and why they're such a valuable tool in many fields. Remember, understanding terms like this not only improves your English vocabulary but also broadens your knowledge in general. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please feel free to share and comment. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.